Hello! Welcome. This is Kenshin1913. And this is our indie game for January. That's right. January was almost up, and you probably thought I wasn't going to get one out. Well, I am. This is Let's Play Olav and the Loot. This game is a post-apocalyptic point-and-click puzzle game. A la King's Quest, or uh, any kind of point-and-click puzzle games. It's very fun. Uh, it should only take me about one video to do. Uh, I've been trying to actually LP a game called that I bought on Steam. Yes, I do have a Steam uh, account now. And um, <clears throat> I guess if you really want to be my friend or whatever, you can look me up. But uh, I try, I'm try. i trying to play Brothers, The Tale of Two Sons, but I can't get it to work. Like, the controls, I have to use Joy to Key, and it's still being a real pain in the A. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get into Olaf and the loot. This is a good game. It's a very fun game. Alright. So we've got these three things here. A goblet of water, or a chalice of water, a burning fire, and a sword. But it looks like they're all... The goblet, or the chalice is gone, the fire is out, and the sword is broken. So apparently these two things want that fix, maybe? I don't know. And they're setting down this person. Alright. Welcome to the world of Olaf. And the loot. We are this guy right here, Olav. And uh, our mouse here, we can move it around anywhere we want. Obviously, you have the walk icon here, and you can kind of walk wherever you want. If you come over here, this is the interact icon. We can come over here, pick up this book. And an empty book, how useful. So let's look into the book. There is nothing in it right now, but we will eventually get things in it. So, and if you click over here, you can continue, you can mute the game, or you can exit. Let us continue. So, let's walk this way. If you see this little symbol right here with the foot and the arrow, it means that, uh, or the arrow pointing towards one direction, it means that we're going to walk off screen. And look at this. If we click on this, it looks like some sort of old, some sort of old rune stone. It looks like we need water. We need fire, and we need to repair. But what is this over here? This is the loot. Now what this loot can do is actually, if you click on it, you can play various songs with five different notes, ranging from red, orange, purple, green, and blue. So you can play four notes, but we don't need to play anything right now since we don't have any songs. The songs will actually be put in this book here. I believe we get six. So let us continue. Do do do. We got this loot. Now let's see what we can do. Oh, look at this. And apparently this thing over here is a loom. I guess it's like, oh, a loom, wasn't that a, that thing that like you, you put together and you make like clothes and stuff? So this goblet is empty. This fire is is not on, and this sword is broken. So, we're going to have to figure out a way to restore all three things. Alright, so we have a new thing here, a king-size key. And this is the first song that we learn in the game, the open song, which goes blue, orange, blue, red. Or, the closed song, which goes red, blue, orange, blue. Yes, they go in reverse. I really like that. It's pretty awesome. So, let's walk over here and see if we can get outside. And now you have to click on... Now, you obviously we can't get the key in that door, but if we click on the door... You have queen-size doors, so let's click our loot. 
and let's play the song. Blue, orange, blue, red. And look at that, we have opened the door. And we can head outside now. So yeah, this is a post-apocalyptic world that we're in. It's, uh, it's supposed to be, I'm assuming, Japan. Yeah, that looks pretty familiar. Made in Fukushima. And that says Garbindi Gold. Good. So let's come down here and look at this Shishi Oshi. Oshi. It's one of them water things. And that thing needs some water. What's this bicycle? It's almost open. What about if we play the open song? So it is a blue, orange, blue, red. And voila, we have gotten the water. And we've learned a new song. That new song is fill with water. So we could go back inside and fill up the water the chalice with the water, but we're not going to. Or you can actually drain the water by playing it backwards. We're not going to do that right now. Let us actually head this way. I'm Olev. I've got a loot. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Hey, guy. What the hell? Inhabitants. The water's pretty low, but what about if we play... Our new water song. Blue, green, orange, red. <gasps> and the river has risen. Hey, look at this. Look at this cool thing. It's a raft. Let's walk across the river. Oh, shit. Jesus could. I can't. Talking about walking across water. Apparently we can't do that. Hey, look, here's some guys living in the post-apocalyptic world. Do you guys know how to, uh... Are you the same guys that, uh, that kind of put me here, or what? So let's look at the fire. And we learned another song. This is the fire song, or heat. We can heat stuff up. Or we can freeze stuff, which is actually will be coming in, in, in handy and momentarily. Anyways, you can't really interact too much. You could put out their fire, and they would get a little mad, but the, nothing in particular would happen. Which is kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, we're not going to put out their fire. Uh, you know what? What the hell? Let's try it. So, we take out the loon, and we hit blue, purple, purple, orange. And we put out their fire, they're not happy. Yeah, they're not too happy, so... Let us... Let us put the fire back. With orange, purple, purple, blue. So now we could actually light up the next thing if we wanted to, but let's not. Let's get the hell out of here. Pretty much done. Now with this river, we can't walk over it, but what about if we freeze it? Look at that, now we can walk across the water like Jesus Christos. And Olav is pretty good at moonwalking. <sighs> trying to think of a Michael S Jackson song off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. Oh well. Anyways, we got that. Let's go down here. And if we come over here... We can actually come over here and look, there's a ghost! A Nietzsche. What's wrong with the Nietzsche? Oh, 
Oh, his TV's broken. Yeah, if only we had a way... If only we had a way to fix the flowers. Let's look at this toadstool here. Yeah, that doesn't look too healthy. It looked like it was kind of poisonous. We learned a new song. We could poison things, or we can heal things. So there's our new song that we can use. That is uh, green, orange, purple, red, or vice versa. Red, purple, orange, green. So yeah, we got a new song right there. Let's continue to look. If we go over here... Well, actually, we can't do nothing with that right now. But... We, no, we already looked at it. But if we come over here, we can go over here. And now we are at Buki's house. You could build a bomb. Looks like he's passed out drunk. He's been huffing gasoline, maybe. What did he say? Yeah, that's a big trash can. And over here it says, uh, F off, you know what I mean? Buki's house. So now you could actually play the song to open it, but we can't get inside. So what we need to do is heal this guy of his hangover. Or at least something. Now I messed this up. Red, purple, orange, green. Heal. Red. Ah, I screwed it up. Let's look at that. Red, purple, orange, green. Oh, you know what? Cause we're not we're not clicked on Buki. We gotta be clicked on Buki. Now let's play. Red, purple, orange, green. And now he's gonna get up and go inside. See, now we could have gone and uh, we could have gone and. Uh, done whatever. Anyways, let's look around or open the door, but we wouldn't have been able to get above him. So let's look at this plate. So he ate everything. Keep calm and drink. Hakuna Matata. Nice. And this is the Destruct 300. And that guy's sleeping. Let's turn on the power switch. And we're learning a new song. Oh, crush, 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 crush. Wow, it is really breaking stuff. Anyways, let's look at our new song, Destroy and Repair. Our repair thing will actually be more handy than Destroy. But yeah. Buki's sleeping and off. Let's get the hell out of here now. Billy Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who says it. But the kid is not my son. Actually, let's click on this barrel. And let's actually show you what the destroy power will do. <coughs> Blue, red, purple, orange. Nothing? Yeah. Oh well, let's come up to this broken bicycle. I thought that you can make that blow up. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, now with the broken bicycle, let's repair it with orange, purple, red, blue. And look at that, we fixed the bike! It's pink! It's a pink bike! That's cool. Let's go fix that guy's TV. Maybe it'll be nice or something. Come over here and fix the television. I want to fix it for you, because you're my friend. Yeah, everything is broken here. So let's go orange, purple, red, blue. And we fix the TV. Just in time for the ghost to do karaoke.
Uh oh. What's going on? I don't like the screen turning to black like it is. What's happening? Olaf fell asleep. Apparently that... Apparently that was a sleep song. Now Olaf's up. And the TV's broken. So we learned the new song, Sleep and Awake. That's pretty cool. Let's go see if Buki will, uh, wake up if we play a song. And now we have all the components we need to fix the loom. Yeah, so this game's pretty fun. It's just kind of a shame that they just need to work on a few things. Alright, so let's wake Buki up. With orange, purple, blue, green. What the hell? Wake up, man. Am I not playing it right? Orange, purple, green, blue. Oh, that's what I put. Orange, purple, green, blue. There we go. Now Buki's getting up and he's drinking something. And he's going right back to sleep. Well, apparently you can't wake some people up. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go activate the loom. Up here, up here, Olav, up here. I wonder what's gonna happen when we activate said loom. Hopefully nothing. Let's see. Blue, green, purple, orange, yeah. Alright, I just wanna make sure I had the uh, thing right. Um, let's see. Just beat it! You know, I'm bad. I'm bad, you know it. I'm bad. So let's fill the goblet with blue, green, orange, red. There we go, one activated. Let's let's start a fire with orange, purple, purple, blue. Awesome. Now let's get that sword repaired. Yeah, you can't win a fight with a broken sword. Orange, purple, red, blue. Voila! All of the pieces are put together. Uh oh. Let's see what's going on with the loom here. Now we gotta wake the loom up. So, let's see. Orange, purple, green, blue. Uh-oh. Now what's gonna happen? Oh dear God. Kaden! Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. Let's get this thing out of the way. Oh no, Olav! Are you alright, buddy? So apparently we've activated the loom by the cost of poor Olav's life. What is the loom?
Or did he? It looks like the gods have uh, taken Olav and I guess he's filled his duty. And he's done. So yeah, this has been Let's Play Olav and the Loot. I hope you guys and gals have enjoyed. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, I like the puzzles. I like the atmosphere. I think uh, they can... Uh, there's a few bugs that they could still work out, but these guys did, uh, these people, I'll say, these people did a really good job. Um, I just think, I know it's a little short, and that's alright, because, because uh, it's just like an indie game, I mean, some games aren't very long, but I always try to do sort of short ones. But yeah, I think this one was good. Reminds me reminds me of King's Quest, like a King's Quest game, or Gabriel Knight, or even uh, Journey to, or Monkey Island, where you click on stuff and solve puzzles and things. Like I said, I like the atmosphere. I kind of wish there was a little more story. Apparently, we maybe we're just some sort of alien or something that came down and had to do something with a loom, but it's a very good game. Uh, I highly suggest if you want to, to play it, I will leave the link in the video description below on how to play it or get it for yourself. It is free, so that's always cool. But yeah, that's this has been uh, Let's Play Olaf and the Loot. Olav. Olav and the Loot. Um, hopefully for February, I'll be able to get Brothers going. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions on how to get the Joy to Key thing to work, uh, let me know. I've been messing around with it, but it's just been, it's been tricky. Anyways, so this has been Kench1913, uh, and I will see you in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.